electron from lab and multisim. In this video, we'll see how can we record our original voice, okay, uh, using LabVIEW. So to record our original voice using LabVIEW, we don't need any kind of extra hardware or we don't need any kind of the external mic. If uh, you are using your laptop, so you can record your voice using the uh, your laptop microphone. So when I will run this program, so here I'm going to run the program and let's see the example. Hello, myself Nitesh Pradhan. Hello, hello, hello. So this, okay, the first graph. In this first graph, you can see my uh, sound, which I was try to uh, uh, I was try to record, okay, which I had recorded. And now you can see here it is my FFT signal. So in this uh, session, I will show you how can you do it. So for that, let's start. Let's close it. Now open your lab view. <coughs> Come into the front panel and open your front panel and block diagram. Then right click on the block diagram. Right click on the block diagram. Come into the graphics and sound. Here you will get the sound. Now you can see the file input is here. Now in this input, please click the acquire and take here. When you will click, <coughs> when you will uh, drag and drop this acquire sound, so you will get configure acquire sound, acquire sound, okay? So, uh, so this acquire sound uh, denotes the function name and here we are configuring the acquire sounds. Now, here I am selecting my microphone, my computer's microphone. Now I want to acquire, I want to record the full studio data, means left or right ears data. So I will open the two channels. Now, here I am going to set the resolution 16 bit and I just want to record the data with a 16,000 sample sampling rate. With a 16,000 sampling rate, okay? If you want, so you can go beyond the 16,000, you can uh, go till the 96,000, okay? So here I am going to record the data with the 16,000 uh, 16, sampling rate. Now hit the OK button. After that, come into the block diagram, drag it, come into the front panel, come into the waveform graph, sorry, come into the graph and take a waveform graph and take it and place here. Now in this waveform graph, here I am going to change name. So here I am live voice data okay live voice that data now connect it in this way you can acquire and you can display your voice sound now i'm going to show you how can you acquire and display so for that hello myself nitesh pradhan now you can see here we are getting the data for the one second only now if you want to change the range or duration so you have to double click and open it now you can change here here I'm going to keep the duration three. Hello, 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 hello. Now you can see this is my hello, hello, hello data. Okay, uh, it has captured my uh, three second data. Now let's see how can we uh, take this data in uh, take uh, how can we see this dynamic data in the form of graphs. So as we know, the graph is a uh, a graph is a representation or graph is a collection of T0, del T and Y array. So now we need to convert this uh, voice data or this uh, live data into the um, signal format. Okay. So for that, right click here, come into the drag. Okay. Drag your cursor. Now you will come, uh, you will get the express. Inside the express, you will get signal manipulation. In the signal manipulation, now you can convert. Okay. Your dynamic data into the waveform type so far when you will uh, when you will drag and drop this convert from convert from dynamic data it's my function name so you will get this configure convert from dynamic data so you will get by default this automatic okay 1d upscaler but we need to change it from the 1d waveform because why 1d waveform i am selecting because i know in this signal i in this waveform uh, we we have two signal in this uh, live video data. We have two signals. One signal is for the left right uh, left ears and one is for the right ears. Okay, 
now that's why i had select uh, i am selecting here 1d array 1d array of uh, waveform which uh, that i will show you here now you can show when we'll drag this waveform so you will get the plot 0 and plot 1 when i will close the plot 0 so we'll get the same data in the plot 1 okay look at here so it's it has two two different data uh, two data sets okay so for that uh, i'm <clears throat> i we need uh, so for that we need so for that uh, we need this uh, 1d array 1d array of waveform okay so let's see after that now we can uh, we need we can create an indicator when you will create an indicator so you will get this waveform array now you can see it is a array of the waveform so i'm going to size the uh, increase the size and let's come okay let's run the program one more time hello 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 now you can see this data my uh, program has been captured okay for three seconds and now you can see in this uh, array in this area of waveform now you can see the data for both left and right ears means a full stereo data okay if i will increase it to one more time so uh, we'll get only the empty or in sliced uh, sample only element only now to plot uh, to plot fft to plot f uh, plot fft for this signal we need to okay uh, for uh, to plot fft signal we need to take a fft function so for that right click come here right click here and come into the signal processing come into the transformations and come into the fft okay so here i am taking fft here take the fft and place here press ctrl h so you will know the uh, so fft requires okay x uh, as a data and fft size so here the most important thing is uh, FFT X. Uh, uh, most important thing is X. Now you can see how we can get the X. So let's try to connect. Now you can see here uh, we had connected. And now if I will write, uh, if I will create an uh, indicator, so also we'll get the data. But it is not a uh, uh, correct way. So it is not a correct way to give the input because we don't know what kind of data it's taking. So for that, right click here. Right click here okay and it is an array now you you know very well it is an array of one dimension waveform so first we need to break down the array so uh, index array zero make connection this function now it is index array index array functions now right click here right click here create const uh, right click and create constant give the index value zero then you will get one more then you will get uh, the one more waveform array after that we need uh, we need to break down the waveform uh, waveform into the one dimension numbers array why because the fft uh, takes because the fft takes this one one d array so here i am going to break down the fft okay okay now right click make a connection like this so you will get the data in the form of one dimension array in the form of numeric so now make a connection like this make a connection with the fft so you will get the proper fft for one uh, uh, one signal only here i am going to show you fft FFT. Let's run the program. Hello, 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 hello. Now you can see here uh, this. Uh, okay, my program has captured this data. After that, uh, we are able to display that the, uh, the voice in the form of array in the form of waveform. After that, now you can see we are easily we are easily able to plot that signal, uh, plot the FFT of our real time uh, signal. Suppose you want to plot the FFT for both, uh, okay, uh, for both the signal, for both the signal. So now, now drag it one more time. 
drag it index array function one more time right click and click here and create a control create sorry right, uh, right click and create a constant and now give the index value one now give the index value one then take one more time the same functions take one more time the same functions make a connection take fft function for left, uh, one more time then right click and come here right click and come into the array take a build array function place here build array function and place here now increase the size okay so we'll get the fft for two signal uh, for the both the side means a double uh, double side fft okay double side fft will get and this function name is the build array so here i'm going to write the control a control u now you can see here it is our program now here i'm going to uh, run the program and let's see and we'll see what uh, information we'll get and uh, what kind of fft it will display to us it will show to us okay so here i'm going to run the program <coughs> hello 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 now you can see here we are getting the proper fft for the both the signal right click here i'm going to okay so you, you will get the fft for both the signal left or right here because here we are uh, we are acquiring the full stereo signal that's why we are getting the two signals okay and you can easily uh, plot the fft of the particular signal So thank you for watching this video. If you uh, wants to learn more about the Lab One, uh, its uh, various toolkits, so please comment.